Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the, the booster view and how the forms working inside the booster view. In uh, I'll just practical show how the spacing is set up and then I will use a lot of other videos to show every single uh, form for you. Uh, functions like inputs and file upload and everything else. So let's starting it up and uh, continue. Before we continue, I really hope you appreciate my channel here and you want to subscribe it. If you have any questions, please make a comments below and I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. Thank you so much. So let's getting begin. So let's creating uh, the form tag. Oops, the V form. And now we basically have starting up uh, the form uh, in Bootstrap View. So let's uh, create a, um, a basic input here. It's not V form, it's a B form, sorry. And when we have the input here, I will just create a V model. And let's call it a test input. I don't like all of this, so I just put this inside here. And then we want to define the type. The type should be text, and the placeholder should be the test text here. Thanks. And then we want to a mark and button with two, so we know what happening. That's basically how the form is working. But you can't have a form if you don't can submit it. So let's build one with the with the B button, and the type should be submit, and the class should be mr uh, two. That's meaning mark and write for two. And why we do this? It's because I will create a reset after that, and we call the while for primer. Now I have to submit. I'll just copy this and say it's reset remove the class change the danger to change the variant to danger sorry and then put reset inside and we want to show what happening here and then we have the form going down to the data section and say test what we call it, test input. And then we set it up here. Let's go for the browser and see how it's react. And then we have a very nice, um, very nice input with the submit and reset. So let's say test and just say submit. You can see it's jumping up, nothing happening. So Right now it's nothing happening, so going back to the editor. Oh, I can, I can see we have it the uh, wrong up here. We say test input here. So let's save it one more time. And uh, going back for this one. And now you can see something happening here. And again, if we just press submit, it will just reload the site. So let's enable the submit and, uh, and the su submit here and reset because if you put it inside here and press the reset, that's meaning we don't reset the, the variable inside the view, but we reset the content here. So if you do this and press submit, it's remove everything. So the next step we want to do is uh, enable the submit and the reset button. So let's go back, back for the editor. Let's uh, scroll down here to the methods and uh, we want to create one with the unsubmit. What? Take the event inside. And we want on reset. It's just the functions we create. And on submit, we want to say event prevent um, default. When you use the prevent default, it's meaning um, like in the submit, you you can see when we press uh, submit, then it's reloading the site and sending the post out. When you use the prevent default, it's meaning we will blocking for the re reload um, function. And that's what we want now because we just want to push it out our console, lock, test, input. 
my data input. That's what we want here. And when we reset it, we basically just do the same. Say event prevent default. And here we just say test and then the input. And we set it to nothing. And let's say the console lock here and say oops, on data reset succeeds. And then we save it again. And it will not work if you're going back to the browser right now. We need to go up here. And um, what we're going to do here, it's uh, binding. Uh, binding up with the with the form here so the form we can say uh, the submit here and on submit we have it here and oops we have it here on reset on reset we have it here and now I can save it and if I'm going back for the browser it should work like we want so let's testing it up we say here is the test and let's go in up here and see the console and I think that's big enough and then we submit my data input and here's the data so as you can see it's here and it's a reset you can see the form data is reset and we, we don't have anything down below here so everything is working thank you for watching this video and remember you can download the source code from my github i will link it in the description below and you're welcome to subscribe to this channel hit the comments button if you have any kind of uh, comments and of course i really hope you want to like and share this video to friends and don't forget to subscribe my github so you can get not notified every time i push up the, the code for for everyone thank you so much and hope to see you next time goodbye